Welcome back to the channel guys, just want to bring you a quick update in regards to some of the coins I've been talking about recently, one of them being DIA or Dyer. Um, did recently just exit my position on Dyer based on the fact that we didn't hold above this level like I expected us to um, and we've fallen below my uh, support lines which are now becoming resistance. Okay, let's just uh, make that a bit more clearer. Um, so obviously I do expect it to go a little bit further to the downside of right guys and I wasn't really willing to hold my position for a long term at this point. I'd rather see it get back above this level before I take a new position. Either that or I want to see some uh, kind of Fibonacci lines that will give me a, an entry point for a bounce. But um, yeah, I'd much rather allocate this capital to an asset that is going up at the moment. I clearly... Um, do think that this project is a good long-term hold i'm not willing to hold it at the moment i'd rather put that into something that's going up i did take a profit so that's always a good thing i could have took much more up here all right but um yeah that's just the way it plays out sometimes sometimes you've got to hold on um in expectation for more but if it doesn't go your way it's a good time to just get out uh in a profit is always a bonus but even if you took a small loss you know it's, it's good to know when to get up all right you can see it came down i took my eyes off it for a little while i was busy doing other things but i noticed we did get this bounce and it's failing to break that support level uh sorry that resistance level now and um, that support has become resistance so um, yeah um probably a better time good time for me to get out um yeah so that's what i've done you can see that uh um there's another support level down here, all right? Okay, if we do fall below those levels, then I expect it to go down much, much further. All right, and I would consider picking some more at a lower price point um, for a longer term hold. All right, guys, I don't normally take my first entry as the one to keep for long term. I like to trade it for a bit, and then I can, uh, if you know, if I manage to pick up some, and it's almost like I'm getting coins for free because of the profit that I took uh, earlier on over here. I took a profit over here. If I can buy in down here and manage to pick up some coins for a fraction of the price, then you know I don't mind uh, holding some for a little bit of a long term hold because I do think that this is uh, has got some long term potential. It being an Oracle and open source for DeFi and uh you know got potential to be a competitor to some hot projects out there already so that is dia all right guys don't hate me for taking profits all right don't hate me for not wanting to ride a downtrend i have consistently said on this channel that i'm not about riding the downtrends now if you're talking about something like spark point for example where i said that i'm long term holding that i mean that's after i've taken a massive profit on spark point managed to buy back in at a lower point and um, now I'm holding some for the long term. I'm not even watching the chart, I'm not really paying too much attention to it. For the sake of updates for you guys, I will do and um, have a look every now and again and let you know what I think about that. But um, yeah, Dyer looks like for me. Um, we'll have to, uh, I'd rather watch and wait and see what happens. If it does break back above this level, then you know the bullish bias will come back for the short term. But yeah, I'm still long term bullish on this project and I think that it's yeah, definitely got potential. All right, guys. Uh, looking at safe haven that's another one that i said it looked like the momentum was dying off a little bit um you know unfortunately this is not a very bullish video guys all right um so you know i can't just give you the uh i don't, don't want to be one of those people that just only talks about a coin when it's going up i want to talk about it when it's going down as well all right guys because there's potential entry points you can take and exit points over here would have been a great part time for you to get out as you know i was taking profits over here and i was getting out all right guys and uh, we saw that dip and it got bought back up now i didn't fomo in if i did catch that dip i would have bought it um but oh uh, yeah i would have been looking to get out but i said in my previous videos that i wasn't looking to take any new positions because it looked like the momentum was dying a little bit uh, it looked like this run had kind of like kind of like it's maxed out you know it's coming to its end all right there hasn't been a decent correction yet apart from that it was bought back up that can't really class that as a correction that was just a bit of a fake out to the downside all right but um or a shake out to the downside 
obviously went up a little bit more and it's kind of been going sideways for a couple of days now we're seeing it is getting that sell off all right and um, i think there's a lot more potential downside for this and that's one that i'll probably be looking at be uh, grabbing some cheap safe haven if we can get down over here or even down there that would be nice this would be a nice buy zone for me to pick up some cheap safe haven for a long-term hold all right so we've had the run up We've had the shift to the upside. Now we need to see that correction. And then down here, after all of this is a nice time to be picking up some bags after it's cooled off for a little bit of a long-term hold and potentially the next run, however long that takes. All right, but yeah, this is another one. I've definitely got some uh, long-term expectations for this coin. Uh, some of you guys are asking for price predictions on certain coins in the comments. Uh, I will st stand on that, that I don't really do price predictions, alright? There is a lot of unrealistic expectations out there in regards to some coins, alright? If you're looking at coins like this that are well under a, a one cent, you know, there's definitely potential for these coins to, to get there. I mean, it's not too far fetched looking for a one, uh, you know, looking for a coin to hit one cent. Alright guys, but when people start talking about dollars and two dollars and five hundred and eighty-nine dollars like XRP for example, you have to kind of have some realistic expectations because the truth is if you got like ten million in these coins for example or, or let's let's just go over a million, right? You know, I would be kind of scaling out profits long be long long before it got to a dollar, alright? Or I might have still have some in for long term potential, but you got to realize some profits in this game guys i mean while everyone's waiting for well everyone's waiting for that million dollar bag you know what's happening in between you know if you're waiting five years for a you know for a coin to reach a dollar for example you know you could have potentially made made those profits like in between you know in between like in that time like selling selling the tops buying back in you know what i mean but um I'm not here to knock hodlers at the end of the day. Hodling, you know, I'm hodling some coins. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not against any any strategy at all whatsoever. Uh, everyone's got their own strategy, and I respect everyone's strategy. At the end of the day, this channel is here to give you a diverse perspective of what we expect um, in the short term, to the mid term, to the long term. You know, I do not discriminate against trading. I don't discriminate against holding. All right, guys. So yeah, um, Safe Haven is looking very bearish right now. Uh, we'll have to wait and see whether this can go down more. We might get a little bit of a bounce, guys. Uh, it looks like it did already have a little bit of a bounce, but it's not really uh, holding up above this line. All right, I think it's going to remain under this line for at least the short term. And we could see this zone here being filled out with maybe some red candles, maybe a little bouncy action to the downside. All right, um, it's pretty high. For me to be drawing one a Fibonacci retracement, um, you know, so I'd probably take it from the previous, uh, you know, cool off and see. Short term expectation could be anywhere down here at the 786 level. All right, if we bring that all the way down to the bottom, all the way down, this line perfectly lines up with the 0.786 level. Okay, so we could come all the way down here. Like I said, this will be my buy zone. All right, guys. And um, yeah, that's definitely a long-term model buy zone right here, guys. I'll definitely be looking to put something in, you know, um, unless my mind changes by the time it gets there, you know, we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, but yeah, it's just a quick video um, for the sake of updating you guys. Please do me a favor, subscribe. The subscribers are definitely growing. I do appreciate all of you. Leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you again in the next one.